Well, hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from dansfish.com. And today we're going to show you a neat unboxing. Got some awesome fish in this week. Got some epistogrammas, a wild species of rainbow fish, so I'm really excited about them. A species of blue eyes, some Pseudomugil furcatus, which is one of my favorite blue eyes. And uh, some cauliflower red eye red sword tails, some longfin paleotis corydoras. And I think that's it, but there might be something I'm missing. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Geophagus, some really neat geophagus. So let's take a look, here you go. All right, so I want to uh, let everyone know that what you're gonna see when you see these fish cut away in their aquariums, the B-roll, is them in hospital tanks. So 70 degrees, not bad. So they're in bare hospital tanks, there's meds in the water, that's why it looks a little bit green in the water. And so um, just keep that in mind. You're gonna see pretty much fresh re freshly released fish in a hospital aquarium. So they'll color up a lot more as time goes on. Here are Corydoras paleotis. These are the long fin. Um, I'm not generally into long fin Corys a lot, but there's uh, several folks who are good customers who wanted these, so I went ahead and ordered them in for them because, you know, we've each got our own taste, and I'm happy to support good customers. What I do like about these guys is their color. They have bold patterns. Um, if you look, you'll see a lot of iridescence on the gill plates and the cheek kind of face head area. And Paleotis are one of the toughest species out there. They're like Corydoras aeneas. They're great for a beginner. They're easy to spawn. They um, are very hardy, friendly, nice catfish. So these long fins kind of take it to the, to the next level a little bit. Kind of like long fin bushy nose plecos or long fin super red plecos. So happy to get them in for those customers and they look pretty good. So I have high hopes for them. Here's a bunch of epistogrammas that I got in. What I ordered was Epistogramma agazizii. What I got was this, which I do not think is Epistogramma agazizii. I mean, I like this fish a lot. It, its dorsal fin almost reminds me of a Borellii, perhaps? I really don't know. Intense blue on the face and the gill plates, and they're so stressed out right now that, um, that I don't know what the rest of the color scheme is going to be. But, uh, again, they're just in a pretty much bare-bones hospital tank. Uh, they, they haven't settled in yet. Keep that in mind when you see all the fish in this un unboxing it. It takes fish a few days to settle in. Um, but even without that, they're still pretty cool fish. I like the blue on them, and I think they have a neat pattern. I like the dorsal fin, really high kind of dorsal when they splay it. Hopefully they'll, they'll flare it out here in the video at some point. But I don't know what they are, so if anyone here is a true expert on epistogrammas and can tell me uh, what these are, I would really appreciate it. I'm going to be uh, taking this video snippet and putting it out to some epistogramma experts and saying, hey, please help me out, because I want to know what they are before I, I go to distribute them. But they're pretty. That's all I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> mystery epistogramma. Hopefully we'll get a good ID soon. <clears throat> Temperature on them, 69.2, so 69, 70 degrees this bag, which is pretty good, pretty darn good. Now these I'm super excited about. I've been ordering these for months. They finally actually made it. These are Geophagus wine milleri, one of the most gorgeous earth eater cichlids that there is. The Geophagus are a wonderful genus, generally fairly peaceful, um, get six to eight inches perhaps in the aquarium. Uh, sift the sand, sift the substrate, keep it clean, and keep it from getting, um, you know, stagnant down there in your substrate. Now these guys are little. I'm gonna guess about two inches. I, I two, two max, two and a half, three inches. They have a lot of growing to do. They have a lot of coloring up to do. So, and again, they're just freshly arrived, stressed out fish. So I can't wait to see what they're gonna turn into. But I've, I've seen adults of this, and I know how gorgeous they're going to be, so I'm very excited to get this in. Um, go ahead and Google Geophagus wine milleri if you don't know this fish, and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're spectacular. So very excited about them. Can't wait to see them settle in and color up and get them into uh, their more permanent tank when they're done with their treatment. Now these are another fish I've been trying to get in for a long time. This is a wild rainbow fish. These are Melanotania rubrostriata. 
the red striped rainbow, and then they threw in uh, another random rainbow as an extra, as a bonus, which I don't know what the random guy is. I'll, I'll be figuring that out soon, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice when they throw in extra fish and fish and are like, here, here's a bonus fish. And sometimes it's like, what am I going to do with this? But, <laughs> um, but I'm excited about the Rubro striata. It's a big, bold, just beautifully colored rainbow fish as most are when they grow up. These guys are small. Uh, one and a half to two inches would be my guess. Somewhere in that range. Uh, two inches, give or take a bit. And they're starting to get a little bit of color here. But again, they're freshly unboxed. So they're, they're going to be quite stressed so we'll be seeing them uh, later when they color up I'll do more video on them and we can see what they're like but I can't wait in a few months for these guys to be full grown and start blowing minds which is what rainbow fish do but again they're wild which is nice because then we don't have to worry about the hybrids which are so prevalent in rainbow fish so I was excited to get some wild ones in um, here's the second box, 69.8 degrees, so, you know, pretty much 70 degrees, which is fantastic for a Wyoming winter. Sudamugil furcata. My, I don't know, they're all my favorite blue eyes, but these are near and dear to my heart. These are the first blue eye that I ever spawned. Um, so blue-eyed rainbow fish. Uh, purists get upset when you call a blue eye a rainbow fish, but it's all common names, so I don't think it really matters. But these are the Pseudomugil furcatus, furcata, sorry, and um, active, peaceful, small, colorful, and endlessly entertaining. Easy to spawn. They lay very large eggs for ch for such a small fish. And the babies, when their babies first hatch and are free swimming, can start on freshly uh, hatched baby brine shrimp right away. So they're a cinch to raise. I don't have enough good things to say about these guys. I love it when they wave their little pectoral fins and you get those yellow pom-poms, <laughs> like a cheerleading squad going. Good mix of males and females here, as far as I can tell so far. So I think I'll be able to do some nice pairs or breeding groups for those that are into breeding. And if you're not, that's fine. They're just a gorgeous fish in their own right. Okay, so got some more of these. These are the red-eyed red uh, cauliflower high fin sword tails. Um, everyone that got the first batch has been raving about them. They love them. They're doing well. And so I went ahead and ordered another batch. And the only drawback about this order is they sent me all females. So all I have is females. I have no control over that. I wish they'd sent me some males. The females are spectacular though. So you know, they're still a gorgeous fish. Uh, it just puts you back a step in your breeding program if you have to start with, you know, a, a different strain of male and then breed back to get to this. But, um, yep, they're good looking, but there is not a male to be seen. So, oh well, what can you do? Anyway, still gorgeous. Still going to go with it. What can I do? <laughs> um, and I was really pleased that the last batch did so well for everyone I sent them to because they're an expensive fish. They, they run, I think, around 45 bucks a piece. So hard to find, hard to get. Um, glad I could get some. And here's another bag of them. We won't worry about cutting away on this bag because we just did. So I have uh, 30 of them, which is fantastic. So... That's the delivery for this week. Again, those geophagus I've been trying to get for a long time. Was glad to get them in. Those wild rainbows as well. 70 degrees on that bag as well. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you think those are cool. Um, another week or so and they'll be all settled in and fattened up and ready to go. Hopefully, if all goes well. So, you know, it take, take some time to get them recovered from their trip and ready to go but we're getting on that anyway uh please think about liking subscribing commenting sharing this video every little bit helps and until next time have a good one um, bye bye